at the Pebble Beach Concord Delegates. My name is Dave Coons, and I have been coming to Pebble Beach for many years, and if this is your first year, welcome. Welcome to the newly reimagined AFAS Pavilion, sponsored proudly once again by the newly reimagined Lincoln Motor Company. What an elegant setting for a bunch of elegant artwork that we will be able to see and admire and include this as part of our Pebble Beach weekend. Beautiful cars will be out on the lawn tomorrow. We have beautiful artwork in here tonight. For an official welcome to the Pebble Beach Concord Elegance, we are very proud to have with us tonight the Chief Judge tomorrow, Mr. Chris Bosch. On behalf of Sandra Button, our chairman, who is uh, putting out a few fires, as you can imagine, right at this moment, on behalf of the Pebble Beach Company and all of the volunteers and the charities that benefit from this show, we welcome you uh, and welcome the AFAS back. We believe that AFAS and the arts are a huge part of the Concord, and we're proud that you're here again and so pleased. We, Candy Birds did a beautiful Lincoln poster for us, and very well, a wonderful tour poster, and we're really pleased. We're also really tickled to have Lincoln here and to be able to tell the Lincoln story on our lawn tomorrow. It's been long overdue, and we've had just a wonderful time putting together the, uh, the cars that you see. We'll have 30 Lincoln automobiles here tomorrow. Uh, you know, Edsel Ford was a tremendous patron of the arts, and he was also a remarkable automotive artist. He built, in my opinion, the Lincoln brand by bringing in the finest coach builders of the era, and he succeeded in making the Lincoln what it is, what it became then and what it still is today. So uh, we congratulate him for that, and we're going to enjoy his work tomorrow. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here, and again, we welcome you on behalf of the Pebble Beach Company and the Pebble Beach Concord Delegates. Have a great day. Of course, the AFAS Automotive Fight Art Society is my kind of art society because it's automotive art, whether painting or sculpture, and I'd like to now introduce the president of the AFAS, the man who makes it all happen, Mr. Ken Eberts. Ken? Thank you, Dave, and thank you to the Pebble Beach Concord Delegates for 28 years of combined efforts to show the art of the Automotive Fight Art Society alongside these gorgeous cars. And uh, also thanks to 17 years of sponsorship by the Lincoln Motor Company, uh, which has been a great relationship. We really enjoy, enjoy doing it, and uh, you're a great supporter of the arts. Uh, I'd like to introduce the, the uh, Automotive Fine Artists from the Automotive Fine Arts Society now. We're just going to do this quickly. Uh, they're not going to come on stage, just going to raise your hand when I call your name. Dennis Brown from Covina, California. Harold James Cleaver from Venice, California. Jim Deets from Seattle, Washington. Tom Fritz from Newberry Park, California. Tom Hale, Northville, Michigan. Dennis Hoyt from Somerville, Oregon. Jack Geradovic from Big Rapids, Michigan. Dave Coco from Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Charles Maher from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. And the local guy, John, Marshes, John Francis Marsh from West Point, California, and also from Maryland. William A. Mata from Newport Beach, California. Bill Neal from Dallas, Texas. Richard Petruska, Santa Monica, California. Stanley Rose from Murray, Sorbonne, France. Darren Rowe from Devon, England. Tony Sikorsky from Bridgefield, Pennsylvania. Bruce Wheeler from Paradise Valley, Arizona. We thought we retired this guy last year, but he's the ever, ever ready buddy of work. Art Fitzpatrick is back again. We have several guest artists with us this year. Klaus Wagger from Bad Herring, Austria. Sue Steele Thomas from Rhode Virginia. David Chapel from Grand Blanc, Michigan. I'd also like to acknowledge Bob Larry Sr., who is uh, over there promoting his book on custom cars. And he's our, our official godfather of AFAS. And I'd like to thank Rick and Jim Schmidt for restoring the beautiful Continental Mark II that was used in the poster and, and, and for bringing it all the way to Florida to here tonight and to be in the Concord. And one final person I'd like to introduce, the, the Continental Mark II's chief engineer was a real famous designer named Gordon Muir, and his daughter Bobber is here tonight. I'm going to turn it back over to Dave. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate everybody being here. Thank you, Ken. I was inspired uh, on the way in here tonight to ask Ken to do a painting. I was going to commission it. Um, it involves a lot of cars and a lot of trees. Uh, I call them 
get here on Saturday. <laughs>
Now, we talked about, uh, we've recognized the past of Lincoln, and of course, this Thursday morning, we had a very important announcement with our Black Label vehicles, and there's one behind me, and there's two more stunning examples of this out on the grass, along with 1956 Continental Mark II, so I invite you to go see both of those vehicles, as well as our MKC concept vehicle that's on display. Those are really, really winners. So at this point, I'd like to bring up and print out and give out the award for our, well, you got it right in front of me, the Lincoln Award for the show. And the winner is Dennis Hoyt. Dennis? I will hold this. This is very happy. It's a very it's happy. happy. It's a happy boy. So thank you very much. With a couple of pictures, and I will set it down because it literally is quite heavy. One, one final note that I want to make, and that's the stunning painting that Ken Ebert's made. It's on my left, your right, on display, uh, memorializing the uh, Continental Mark II that's on the lawn. It's terrific. It's on the cover of this year's program, and it's absolutely fabulous. So please join me and uh, take a look at that. It is terrific. This will be the Arch Fitzpatrick Award, and this one will go to Tom Fritz. We're gonna let the man himself do the uh, do the congratulations. Here. This gives me great pleasure. As I've been in the war, admirer of Tom ever since I joined the uh, along with the other 25, 26 members. Tom and I speak the same language. I'm delighted. To so we're going to bring out last year's Peter Health Award winner, Jane Coca, who gets to present this one. Peter Health Award is a very important award for all of the artists because it's a peer award that's uh, voted on strictly by the artists. The winner is James Deets. <laughs> it's, it's a heavy one. Come on up, James. How's your upper body space? <laughs> well, we'll tell you what, we'll set it over here by the Lincoln Award, and uh, we'll let you hoist it on later in a victory. Well, it looks like Charles is out of envelopes. So we're done with that portion of our awards, but now we're going to award something to a uh, very lucky participant tonight. May I ask Mr. Edsel Ford to come to the stage, and may we have the bowl of our raffle. And this is the fantastic sculpture by Dennis Hoyt that was commissioned, and uh, we're going to This is called New Directions, and the person who is holding this ticket will win the award. Where's your camera? Oh, right here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the AFAS and the Lincoln Motor Company, I want to thank all of you for attending tonight's award ceremony. Please be sure to continue to peruse the arts. They will be open tomorrow. The tents will be here. And remember, the works are for sale. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the Pebble Beach Conference.